Hi, I'm Yaakov Horowitz, and this is the second in a series of videos on child safety and abuse prevention, sponsored as a public service by the Karasik Child Safety Initiative of the Center for Jewish Family Life and Project Yes. In the first video, we discussed the four components of an effective research-based child safety program, and we explained how it's possible for a small child to protect themselves against a much larger adult when their parents aren't around. In this video, we will analyze the first two safety messages in greater detail and give you the background information that will help make your talks with your children more effective and helpful to them. Before we begin, just a quick note about your tone and demeanor when you're speaking to your children about child safety. When parents are anxious while speaking to their children about child safety, the children tend to get overwhelmed by your anxiety and forget these very important messages that you give to them. So if you think of it in terms of anxiety level of 1 to 10, with 1 being extremely calm and 10 being very anxious, about 2, 3 on that scale would be just about right. Uh, enough to let them know that it's important, but not too much to overwhelm them. The first of the four safety messages is no secrets from parents, which basically means that you train your children that no one is ever allowed to tell them to keep a secret from you. And if someone does that, they should immediately tell you. And the reason this is important is because there is absolutely no justifiable reason for any adult in their lives to ever tell them to keep a secret from you. And that's a red flag for predatory behavior whenever that happens. And that's why it's so important that as parents, you get in the habit of having regular conversations with your children, preferably every day when they come home from school, when you come home from work, over dinner, just to turn off your phone for a few minutes, really listen to them, find out about their day, and get them in the habit of downloading whatever happened to them during the day, good, bad, and everything in between. Research shows that when children are abused, what happens is they tend to feel ashamed and embarrassed about it. Nobody likes to share embarrassing content with anyone, let alone a parent. Therefore, when we get them in the habit of sharing everything with parents, it makes it much more likely that you will find out if something is really wrong very early on. One of the most important things for parents to understand about the child safety matter is to understand the grooming process, which is the process whereby predators select children from a larger pool of kids that they feel it's safe to molest and they won't get caught. And research clearly indicates that predators look for children whose parents are not involved in their lives. So being involved in your children's lives and finding out what's going on in their day is one of the most important things you can do to really keep your kids safe. The second of the four safety messages is your body belongs to you. Basically explaining to the children that they have personal ownership of their body and their own personal space. Now that might seem pretty simple but it's very important that children internalize this concept. In fact, if children even have their own drawer at home, that in and of itself is helpful to them in understanding their personal space and understanding that they have a right to defend that. Children understand personal space at a very young age. They understand that toys belong to them, they understand that their snacks belong to them. All we need to do is train them to move that thinking over to their personal bodies. And sometimes the messages that we give to children, very healthy messages about sharing and about uh, uh, being deferential to others, wind up being troubling in the arena of child safety. Therefore, it's important to maintain this balance where we still encourage them to be sharing and giving people, but understand that the personal space belongs to them. In our next video, we're going to be discussing safety components number three and four, which are good touching, bad touching, and no one has the right to make you feel uncomfortable. In the meantime, please feel free to visit our Center for Jewish Family Life Project S yes website at www.kosherjewishparenting.com and take advantage of our free resources there. There you can also find information about our child safety book, Let's Stay Safe, which was designed to give parents the language and the tools to have these critical conversations with your children in an effective and comfortable manner. The best gift you can give your children is to become as educated as possible about child safety and abuse prevention so that you can keep them safe and secure at all times.